Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode is titled Heaven Now. Not Heaven Later, Heaven Now. now. We don't have to, you know, wait uh, to die to go to heaven. We get to go to heaven now. Where? How do we get to go to heaven now, deaconess? In the divine service. Divine Every service day. worship? Really? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. That's that's really amazing. It's Ooh. very special. It's very, very special. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And Hebrews chapter 12 uh, gives us really what to look for uh, mm -hmm. when we go to heaven here on earth in the divine service. There are these seven wonders of worship, not seven wonders of the ancient world, mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, the uh, the pyramid of Giza, of Giza mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the, the, the hanging gardens of, of Babylon. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, and all these seven uh, wonders of the ancient world, they're gone. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't exist anymore, mm -hmm. really. Um, but uh, the seven wonders of worship, oh, they exist. Mm -hmm. And even though we can't see these seven wonders with these eyeballs, they are more real than what we can actually see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's beautiful that the writer of Hebrews, the sermonator, he gives us this list of seven. Mm -hmm. The seven wonders of worship. And we're going to go through them together uh, because... Uh, it's going to really make you even just want to get to church sooner. <laughs> exactly. Yep, exactly. yep, yep. So let's go through the seven wonders of worship, shall we, Deaconess? Let's do it. What is numero uno? Number one is... The first wonder. Yes. But you have come to Mount Zion to the, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Yeah. It's This is the what's so cool. I mean... In the ancient times with the children of Israel, they would go up to uh, Mount Zion, to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. where God dwelt with his people in his temple, in the Holy of Holies. But that was really limited access. Yeah. Like, very Extremely limited. limited. As in, one person, the high priest, could go in one time a year, very briefly, to be in, in God's presence, in the Holy of Holies. It, but was, really, now, it was really scary. Yes, it was. Because if he's really touched anything, zap! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. High you, pressure situation. Yeah, uh, you die. Big tie. Yeah. I mean, they would practice, uh, you know, the high priest would practice. Uh, they, 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 would, they would chalk out on the ground mm -hmm. the Holy of Holies, you know, the dimensions. Mm -hmm. And then they would blindfold the guy. And then he, he would have to memorize all his movements. <laughs> weeks oh, before boy. weeks before the Day of Atonement. Uh -huh. So this was not a very um, comforting uh, mm -hmm. job and responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yep. but this is comforting to us because yeah, exactly. this is actually not a mountain that we climb up, but the mountain that comes down to mm -hmm. us. Mount Zion mm -hmm. comes down to us. God and his presence come down to us for worship and going, yep. here, come, come and be with me. I want to be with you. Yes. Come to me. Yep, yep. His house is, is, a, is a house of all nations. Yes. A house for all nations. Mm -hmm. uh, we know this from, you know, Matthew 28, right? Go mm -hmm. and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And so there's a, a big sign on the Father's house that says, welcome all, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so we enter God's house, uh, heaven on earth, when we come to uh, worship, and we don't just have our Father mm -hmm. uh, with us, but uh, we have a second wonder, don't we? Yes, we do. And to the innumerable angels in festal gatherings. To innumerable angels? Ah, wow! <laughs> so we are surrounded uh, by angels. Wait, like the Valentine little cherubs with the, oh you know, the floating wings and stuff? Oh, shame on you. Shame, <laughs> shame. <laughs> No. no, I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> angels in the Old Testament, they're, I mean, warriors. Yes. Yeah, and you think of, like, even the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. uh, when Papa Adam, Mama Eve uh, sinned, uh, they were booted, given their eviction mm -hmm. paperwork, yep. if you will, and an angel with a flaming sword, not just a sword, but a flaming sword, yeah. uh, that's that's pretty, pretty uh, scary, uh, was placed at the gate to uh, Eden, mm -hmm. right, to keep them out. Mm -hmm. And the angels were uh, really God's bodyguards yeah. in the temple, 
right? Mm-hmm. But notice these angels are, are a bit different. They're they're not uh, they're not in warrior uh, mode. They're in party mode, mm-hmm. right? They're angels in festal gathering. They're celebrating. Yes. Why are these angels celebrating, deaconess? Because now. Uh, we can all be in God's presence at God's house. There's nothing to fear. All the enemies have been defeated. Defeated. Yeah, the devil defeated by Jesus. All of his demons defeated. His skull crushed. <laughs> death is put to death by the death of Jesus. And, uh, and of course, uh, hell is vanquished. Mm-hmm. Um, the grave is gutted. Mm-hmm. Right? The curse is undone. Mm-hmm. Right? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. It's, it's victory. Jesus wins! Devil loses! Ha ha! So the angels are partying at the victory party. It's party time? Excellent. <laughs> yep, yep. So the angels are partying. So we're surrounded by by angels. We, we don't see these angels, you know, with, with our earthly eyes, but they are they're with us. We even confess this with, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the proper preface, right? Yeah. We're gathered with angels and archangels, mm-hmm. you know. Listen for that on Sunday, uh, you know, during the service of the sacrament. Mm-hmm. Um, so not just with angels, though. Yeah. We're gathered also, uh, we come to worship, and we come to a third wonder, mm-hmm. to the... Assembly of the firstborn, who are enrolled in heaven. So this means that we're gathered, uh, not just with the people we see, you know, in front mm-hmm. of us, behind us, mm-hmm. to our left, to our right, but we're gathered with all the Christians on planet Earth. Earth. It's pretty amazing. Uh, we're gathered with all of our brothers and sisters around the globe. So we're gathered with the Father, we're gathered with the angels, and we're gathered with all of our brothers and sisters, the family of God, spread across uh, you know, this nation mm-hmm. and every nation. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And notice uh, this assembly mm-hmm. uh, called the firstborn. Yeah. Assembly of the firstborn. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, in the Old Testament, Israel was God's firstborn. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we know, the firstborn... It's what? The inheritance. Inheritance. All and the goodies. All the goodies. And, and the firstborn, uh, generally that would mean land, a chunk mm-hmm. of land. And, you know, the Israelites, the, the firstborn, uh, they uh, they did get a chunk of land, mm-hmm. right? The promised land. Yes. Uh, it was a land, a piece of land that uh, <laughs> they, they kind of lost a couple times. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but Jesus, he changes everything, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. He does. Now he he, he is the firstborn. He is the firstborn. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. the firstborn. Uh, even Revelation calls him the firstborn from the dead, mm-hmm. the firstborn of the dead, right? Yeah. And uh, and what's really amazing, Jesus uh, comes to give us that same status, right? As firstborn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all of us are firstborn in Christ. You were baptized into Jesus, yeah. and uh, and what's really great is. Um, you know, God, he doesn't have any grandchildren. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has only children. And all of those children, firstborn. Mm-hmm. That means that all of us, we don't just get a sliver of the inheritance pie. We get the entire inheritance pie. That makes no sense. Nope. Logically. No sense mathematically. <laughs> no, it, it, it doesn't. <laughs> and, and we do get a chunk of land. It's called the promised land of the new heavens and the new mm-hmm. earth. Real estate that will never be taken away from us. Mm-hmm. We'll get to enjoy that chunk of real estate for all eternity. It's going to put the promised land in the Old Testament really to shame. <laughs> yes, it will. Yeah, it'll be the new Garden of Eden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, paradise uh, of God. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, firstborn, and uh, uh, that's you. Mm-hmm. That's me. That's Deaconess. Mm-hmm. We're firstborns. <laughs> yeah. And then there's this really cool thing about... Who are enrolled in heaven. Oh, yeah. What is that about, Pastor? Oh, yeah. So uh, in the ancient world, uh, you know, citizens would be enrolled. Mm-hmm. Uh, their names would be jotted down in a book uh, to give uh, those citizens all of their rights and privileges and responsibilities. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's really beautiful is this was probably written uh, to uh, to Christians who were resident aliens, meaning they weren't mm-hmm. citizens of the Roman Empire. Mm-hmm. But they didn't have to despair. Mm-hmm. They had a better better, citizen, better citizenship. Mm-hmm. They were citizens of? Heaven. Of heaven. Mm-hmm. And we are citizens of? Heaven. heaven. Mm-hmm. I'm only a citizen of the U.S. of A. for this life. Mm-hmm. But I'm a citizen of heaven forever. And so are you. So is Deaconess. It's awesome. 
It is. It's yep. never going to expire. Yep. And we're not actually, uh, it, what's great is actually we're, we're, we're not, uh, um, uh, every day we're actually moving closer to our homeland. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's yep. always very special to think about. Yep. Okay. So, and then uh, not only do we have God the Father and, uh, you know, the angels and mm -hmm. uh, all of the Christians around the globe worshiping with us, there's a fourth wonder. We come to... God, the judge of all. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. So judge is, you know, we think judge and we think negative. We think gavel, mm -hmm. you know, guilty, tossing a person into prison. But judge in the ancient mm -hmm. world, a good thing. Yes. Uh, you went to the judge because he righted wrongs. He vindicated you. He's the one who delivered you from your enemies and put your enemies to open shame. He's the one that, uh, that really gave you the goods. Mm -hmm. And so we come to the judge of all to receive goods. Like he exposes our sin, we own our sin, and then we receive forgiveness. Forgiveness, peace with God. Mm -hmm. uh, the not guilty. The verdict. not guilty. Yeah, the we, innocent verdict. Yeah, yeah. I mean the uh, the uh, the not guilty verdict that we're going to hear on the last day. We get to mm -hmm. hear already mm -hmm. uh, with the absolution. Mm -hmm. You are forgiven, mm -hmm. not guilty. Yep. Yep. It's beautiful. What a good thing to have ringing in our ears. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then uh, you know. Surrounded uh, with the angels and archangels, or with the angels and archangels, uh, a, a fourth, well, actually, excuse me, a fifth wonder mm -hmm. of worship, yeah. we come to... The spirits of the righteous made perfect. Yeah, these are the saints who have gone ahead of us. Yes. Those who have died in the faith. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not dead, they're alive. Yeah. And they're with the angels and the archangels. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, wow, church just keeps getting bigger here. It's not shrinking, yeah. folks. <laughs> yeah, it's getting bigger. So yeah. we are surrounded by all of our loved ones who died in the faith, who mm -hmm. who uh, who believed in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so we're actually closer to our loved ones who died in the faith, really. In worship. In worship, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah mm -hmm. we can go visit their graves. and, and, and we, we do. Yeah, we do, and we can do that, and that's great. That is, mm -hmm. It's wonderful practice. But we get to actually be with our loved ones who died in the faith mm -hmm. in worship. Now, yeah. that is a worship wonder. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and now let's get to then, and this is all possible because of this next wonder. We come to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the old covenant, yeah. uh, when was, was that cut? Yeah, that was with Moses cut on Mount Sinai. And yeah. And it was with. Uh, the blood of goats and lambs and the all animals. Of that. animals, animals, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so that was a temporary covenant. Mm -hmm. In Jeremiah thirty-one, we hear about the new covenant, mm -hmm. and that covenant is uh, going to be eternal. And in that covenant, the Lord says, uh, "I will pardon your iniquity, and I will remember your sin no, no more. more." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is greater. It's now complete, eternal. How? Whose blood? Because of Jesus' blood. God himself has shed his blood for you and, and for us. Um, yeah. So that there is now this eternal forgiveness that our sins are remembered no more. Yeah. Um, All that kept us from the presence of God has been removed. So we now enter the presence of God with great confidence, great mm -hmm. joy, knowing he's not mm -hmm. going to turn us away. Mm -hmm. He is going to welcome you as the firstborn child that you are. Yeah. He's yeah. not going to send the angels out with their flaming swords to keep us away. No, he's going <laughs> to let you party with the angels. Yeah. That, this is what worship is. We're partying with angels. Partying with angels. Think about that. Yeah. yeah, you're yeah. Gonna, you have more smiles on your on your faces now. I think in worship, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and just so that you know that you, that that this new covenant has actually been been signed mm -hmm. and sealed with the blood of Jesus, uh, we have this final uh, worship wonder. Yeah. We this, come to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Yeah, blood of Abel. Uh, what's what's up with that? Yeah. Adam and Eve's son, who was murdered by his brother Cain. Yeah. And so his blood cries out for justice. Vengeance. vengeance. Condemnation. Mm -hmm. That's not what the blood of Jesus cries out for, right? No. Abel's blood for vengeance pleaded to the skies. But the blood of Jesus for our pardon cries, mm -hmm. as the uh, beautiful Lenten hymn 
glory be to Jesus, has us sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the blood of Jesus doesn't cry out for punishment, but for pardon. Mm -hmm. doesn't cry out for condemnation, but for salvation. Mm -hmm. And this blood isn't just a metaphorical, right? Oh, No, it's not. Certainly not symbolic either. <laughs> yep. It's something we get to receive at the Lord's Supper. Oh, oh, you mean this is a sprinkling blood that is actually given to us? To drink. Yeah. Yes. It's a blood that sprinkles uh, not just uh, our bodies, like mm -hmm. the blood sprinkled uh, the bodies of priests during their mm -hmm. uh, ordination process, mm -hmm. but this blood actually sprinkles our hearts. our hearts, meaning that our our entire being is cleansed. Right? Isn't that amazing? It is. We are we are clean inside and out. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Yep. There is nothing that uh, now uh, 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 denies us the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. All that has been sprinkled clean. Mm -hmm. All that sin that barred us from God's throne room has been removed. So we now can enter the throne room of God, his house, and find a father's welcome. Yes. Yeah. Father's welcome, a father's embrace, and a father's joy and party. Yeah. I think that's a really good way to put it. It's yeah. a party. <laughs> and, yeah. And these uh, and these seven uh, wonders of worship, way better than, than the seven wonders of the ancient world. Mm -hmm. And we get to enjoy them. Every single divine service. Yes. And and as Deacon has said, we don't have to like, you know, drive up a mountain. This mountain, this house of God, this 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 Mount Zion comes down to to us. Yes. And so every single divine service, uh, there's some elevation. <laughs> but we have no nosebleeds. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. We get to, we get to enjoy heaven. Heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. And enjoy these seven wonders. We can't see them with our eyes, but they're more real than than anything we can physically see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And so go to Hebrews 12 uh, this week before you go to uh, divine service and and read this list of seven wonders and just go into uh, divine service just ready to be awed, ready to be amazed mm -hmm. by this God who uh, who gives us so much uh, to just uh, be awed about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Come and join the fun and forgiveness, the joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Party time excellent. Woo! Until next time, dear uh, dear firstborn. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, toodles. Toodles. Yep. By his stripes. We are healed. Yep. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>